Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. And this one should be pretty straightforward. It's the last Obi-Wan we're getting, and it should be using the same body as the previous Obi-Wans. Maybe with some better paint job and obviously a different head sculpt. Anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And let's not waste any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figure still in the inner packaging, looking amazing, and let's check out the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from SH Figure Arts Star Wars line, the figure feels really good. Even though this is just the same body as the previous releases, um, the paint job does look a little bit better. Um, it's more bright in my opinion, and the figure feels a lot more durable, like even more solid. Like some of the joints on my old Obi Wan's are getting loose. And let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, I like the Heskull. I think they did a really good job. But do let me know in the comments on what you think. And yeah, um, I think we can jump straight into the articulation. I don't think there's anything you guys haven't seen already. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn his head no problem. And the shoulder is just on a really long ball joint, but the range of motion is really nice, almost feels like a butterfly. And you can raise his arm up about this much. And we do have some softened material over here, so you won't have to worry about that hindering the articulation. And you do have shoulder swivel and some bicep swivel. And you can curl about this much, and you can swivel here as well, and you do get the ball wrist. And for the out crunch, you can bend forward about this much, which is quite a lot. Um, can't really bend backwards, but you have some really good side to side movement. And for the leg, I think we have a little bit of pull down method, but not too much. But uh, you can pull down a little bit and kick out about this high, bend about this much, apply swivels, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, overall, feels really smooth. And yeah, um, let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face, and I think they did a really good job here. And next up, we get a shouting face, and I think it looks really good as well. And I do suggest you to heat the head up before you pull it, because when I was first pulling it, um, I actually took the whole joint out. Let me just quickly show you guys. So, I actually took this thing out when I was first doing it, and that was really annoying. It took me a good 30 minutes and some heat treatment to take that off. So what I ended up doing is, I heat it up, and I shaved down the ball joint a little bit, so it's not too tight when I'm putting this in there. Like, this is so freaking annoying. Imagine this stucking on the head. And yeah, um, as you guys can see, I shave this down just a little bit so it won't be too tight. And I hope you find that helpful. <clears throat> Damn it. And for the interchangeable hands, first off, we get a pair of these open hands and these are always useful. And then we have two style posing hands by one of each. A pair of hands to hold the lightsaber straight. And lastly, we get a pair of hands to hold the lightsaber at a slightly different angle. And I believe that's it for the accessories. And the color of this lightsaber is a little bit darker compared to the previous release. Um, I'll show you guys that later, and let's check out some action poses. Anyways, that was just some quick posing, and I hope you guys enjoy them, and let's check out some size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Star Wars SH Fig Arts, and I'm not the biggest fan for Star Wars, but I'm definitely a Jedi fan. And yeah, I think they scale pretty well together. And next up, we have some good old Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts. And then we have some Naruto and Street Fighters SH Fig Arts. Some Mezco 112 Collective. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is pretty cool. If this is your favorite look of Obi-Wan, this one is definitely a must-have. Beautiful paint work, amazing sculpt, and the build quality is slightly better compared to the previous two. Um, you just have to be careful with the neck joint. And yeah, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!